What is up, Dokkan player? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy Blaze, and today we are back with another Dokkan battle video. And today, before we start the video, of course, hope you guys are having a very, very good day today. And today, we have here, of course, the new Easy, which will be dropping in about 18 19 hours for the JP side, but for probably arguably the best Easy and Dokkan. Um, I do want to see him in Super Battle, but for long events, this character is probably the best Easy, hands down. Um, but I definitely want to see him in Super Bow because again, he is kind of a character that, that does build up because he does get 8% attack and defense per attack, which he does. So he needs about 10 attacks for him to have his full passive, but this cooler is insanely disgusting. And we have probably one of the easiest, easy A's, um, events here. So this video won't be too long here, but you guys can see here, his weakness is going to be Super Saiyans. And as we continue down the line here, um, he's going to have the damage reduction against here, uh, int, tech. Uh, and physical and also extreme types. So you never want to bring any extreme type Super Saiyans, um, like Broly, for example, because again, he doesn't have that 80% damage reduction. Um, also, you want to bring here just basically AG on STR now. Super Saiyans, again, as you guys know, is such a huge roster. Like, look at this. This is like easy peasy. Like, obviously, you can have free to play teams as well. Um, but again, uh, free to play might be a little bit difficult, but I mean, I feel like it's, it's still, it's, sorry, it still should be possible just because. Super Saiyan is such a huge category, right? So, I already have your social here to a Dokkan Battle Optimizer. That's the site I've been using when it comes to team building guides. Uh, and you guys can see your Super Saiyans. You want to go here with STR and AGL, right? So, there's a couple of team builds you can rock with. Uh, I think we'll go with the obvious one here. I think the best team build is probably going to be here the Majin Buu, Vegeta, and Goku. Uh, they are part of the Super Saiyans, or they are going to be part of the Battle of Wits and also part of the Majin Buu category, right? So, we definitely want to bring them here. Now, there's a lot of units who are part of the Majin Buu, which you'll be pretty surprised here. So, if we actually go here on the Majin Buu category, uh, there's actually quite a lot of um, Super Saiyans here. So, you definitely want to bring here this AGL Vegito. Uh, if you can find him right here. I know he's right here. The Easy A. Um, am I blind? There you go. Uh, I believe the uh, um, Goten is also part of Majin Buu. But you definitely want to go with STR just because he is an Orb Changer. Uh, so actually go ahead and take a look here. So yeah, he's part of Majin Buu, so he's definitely be having his full passive. Uh, you can also bring the structure as well. He's part of the Hybrid Saiyans, but he's also part of the, um, what you might call it, the Battle of Wits, which is also very, very good. But you also remember here, this Gohan is going to be very, very good. Um, you could also bring here, uh, what you might call it, I said structure as well. Uh, this free-to-play Gohan, by the way, he's going to be very, very good. He'll be a support type unit. So again, you can see here that... Um, the LR and Goku and Vegeta are going to be very, very good, especially with their damage reduction. Uh, they have that free heal as well, which you're probably not going to use anyway. But these guys will be pretty tanky as well. So, I mean, again, you have a lot of good options. Uh, if you don't have the Shrunks here, you can go with this Shrunks as well because it's also part of the Battle of Wits. Um, I believe Kaba is also part of the Battle of Wits here. Let me actually take a quick look. Is Kaba part of Battle of Wits? I'm pretty sure he is. Kaba, you are not. Okay, so I thought he was, but he's not. Um, so fortunately, you cannot bring him on this type of team build, but you can also bring him on the Super Saiyans, which is, again, going to be pretty, pretty good here. So, again, this is probably going to be my favorite team build. Uh, I'm probably going to take you out and put this Trunks right here because he is a support type build for Hybrid Saiyans only. But again, you know, there are some Hybrid Saiyans on his team, so should be pretty, pretty good. Of course, you want to go ahead and bring this uh, LR Goku and Vegeta. Um, if you don't have any of these characters, you can always substitute as well. Like, for example, if you don't have the Trunks, you can actually go ahead and actually bring the Gotenks here because... Uh, they're actually pretty good. I mean, they are a, a support type unit when it comes to having against two or more enemies, but he's super sane, so it doesn't matter because they're going to be pretty good here. So, again, you definitely want to keep uh, one going on each rotation or the free to play one. And then, yeah, just rock this type of rotation just like that. So, again, uh, this is going to be an easy peasy. Also, LR Goku and Vegeta are very good when it comes to key because they do get that key plus one uh, when they are collecting um, type of orbs here, right? So, again, these are going to be very, very good. Um, again, if you actually end up using their active skill, you get a free heal, and then you have those beautiful counters. And you'll also see where there's going to be a super attack as well. So, this will be super easy. Definitely super easy. So, you definitely want to actually do the stage here when it comes to collecting Zenny. Because this can, this can actually take you very, very far, right? So, another team mode that you could be rocking with, of course, is that there's actually two leaders for Super Saiyan, I believe. Um, let's actually go back here. Uh, let's actually go back. I'll actually, just go here to Super Saiyans. Super Saiyans, just like that. And then you can see there's actually two leaders would be the STR Goku or the AGL Goku, right? So again, this would be pretty simple. Um, you can actually bring here the Namek Goku as well. He's part of the Super Saiyan, and you can actually go pretty crazy. Uh, you can actually bring these two together, just like this, just like that. 
Again, this AGL Goku is probably going to one-shot Cooler very, very easily. Um, you can also bring here... Is there any support type? You can, oh, you can bring Bardock, actually. Bardock is actually has its transformation because, as you guys know, Bardock does transform turn one. So he he's going to be going freaking crazy. So he's going to be very, very good. Uh, you can also bring the Vegito, as, I mean, the uh, Gogeta here as well if you wanted to. Or you can bring the LR Trunks. He's very, very good. I mean, Super Saiyans will be super easy. Um, but now this is actually pretty interesting. I actually want to bring this um, Gohan here because he's going to be a support type unit. But this Bardock, by the way, he could charge from turn one. So he's going to like completely eradicate Cooler here. Especially with the AGO Goku, right? And let's actually go ahead and bring this here to you. Just like that. So yeah, another strong team build. These guys share five links together. They share five links together as well. So if I actually put you here, uh, you guys share four. If I put you here, you guys share four as well. Uh, if I put you here, you guys share five. Okay. And then if I put you here, that's going to be three. So look, look at this. You can actually mix match everything. So this is another strong team build here. Uh, the, with a double SCR Goku. Very, very good. Very, very strong. I mean, this is this is like death right here. Especially with the Bardock. Ooh! Super effective against all types and uh, almost a guaranteed additional super attack. He is going to go freaking crazy. So you definitely want to bring Bardock if you have him because he's going to be very, very good. Uh, so that's another team build you could be rocking with. Again, go on here with support. Um, I don't think you're going to transform with Goku. But if you actually do transform, I guess it would be good for you. But I mean, if you're going to transform, you might as well just transform with these guys right here. Because they are going to uh, heal up 50% um, of your HP uh, when your HP is below 77%, which is very, very good. So that's another team build you can rock with. Uh, let's actually go ahead and check this out here. So let's say you don't have any of these characters. Because again, it depends where you are in the game of Dokkan. Um, you can actually rock here the 130 lead for Goku. I can rock the exact same team because again, all these just are being very, very good. Uh, let's actually give this here to you, just like that. Um, you can also bring this World Tournament Gohan. He's also a support type unit, which I did forget. So if you are looking for more support, you can bring this Gohan because uh, he's actually pretty good. He should not get you killed. Uh, his support here is going to be, let's see here, keep us to attack plus 30% for super class and I mean allies here. So that's being very, very good. Um, and let's actually go ahead and do. You can actually even go full AGL if you want to. Uh, this character is very good as well. This uh, is a uh, Goten who's insanely disgusting. Now, unfortunately, you're not getting his full passive because there's no Kid Trunks on rotation. But, I mean, you can still bring him if you wanted to. Uh, now, of course, you want to go ahead and bring this Goku here just like that. Again, for AGL should probably get this done very, very easily. Um, and again, you have a lot of good options. If you don't have like the Vegito here, you actually substitute him for probably Gogeta right here, right? So, again, a lot of good option. This Gogeta is going to do a lot of damage as well. So, he's very, very strong. I mean, there's a lot of good options here. A lot of good options, right? So, you... I mean, technically, you can even go full STR if you wanted to, right? So, let's say you don't have any of the top tier units, right? You could as well just go like double Goku, right? So, let's actually go bring you. Bring you. I uh, can bring Kaba as well. He's going to be a 50% support for the STR if you are rocking a full STR team. Uh, you can actually go ahead and bring here uh, free to play. Why not? You can bring this here. You can also bring Kefla, but Kefla. Uh, I guess you could bring Kefla. Why not? Because he is, she is going to up pretty well with Kaba here. Uh, let's actually go ahead and bring this Gohan. I really do like this Gohan because this Gohan is very, very good. And let's actually go ahead and do this here. So there you go. Another team build if you are like not very heavy on some units. Um, most of these guys are pretty old and most of them are free to play. Maybe Kefla is not going to be that common, but I mean you have another good substitute as well. Um, you can go with the Goku right here, who's, got, who's, in, who's been kind of free to play, right, with the scrolls and all this stuff. Uh, sorry, all that stuff there. So uh, again, you have a lot of good options. Uh, this would be pretty easy, definitely pretty easy. Um, I guess when you transform, you link up pretty well with the Gogeta. Uh, but if I put you here, you guys share two links together. Okay, so you probably want to go ahead and do this here. So again, that's another team build. Again, pretty simple. I think I would probably go with the double SCR Vegeta and Goku. Just because they're pretty good. Very consistent. But I also do like the Bardock. That's pretty tough. That is pretty tough. You know what? I actually might go double Goku. Just because Bardock, is, it's been kind of a minute here. It's actually very rare that you don't see him use his active skill. Um, so to have cool or part of an easy and see this character just go completely nuts with his transformation is actually going to be pretty wild here. Especially if you're probably with this Goku. This uh, LR Gohan here is good as well. Uh, Vegito. Um, 
We actually take out Vegito. I don't think we need Vegito. Let's actually bring you here. And any other supports? Oh, I can't bring the AJ Oklahoma. Okay. Which is fine. So, I bring you guys here just like that. Yeah, this is probably going to be my team build. But for this, this is only on the JP side. This is not on global. So, hopefully later on it will come on global. But right now, it is only a JP only for now. So, shout out to JP. JP has it pretty good. Um, they have probably one of the best easy A's in Dokkan, period. Um, but yeah, I don't want to see him in Super Battle just because, again, I feel like Goku might be better in Super Battle Road because he can hit like 7 million turn 1, right, with, with a good support. So, Cooler does need the time to build up because I believe he hits 4.5, but I mean, 4.5, he gets 3 super attacks. That could be very dangerous, right? So, again, I definitely want to see him in Super Battle, but I'd probably say, arguably, he's probably the best easy A in Dokkan after yesterday's showcase because he can do numbers, my boy. Especially long events, he is just disgusting, right? So... Uh, we'll finish up with a free-to-play team here. I think free-to-play, you can definitely get it done. It might be a little bit tricky, though. It might be very tricky because there's actually not that many... I mean, there are a lot of free-to-play units that are super same, but because of the event here, we can only use AGL and also STR because he does have that damage reduction. This might be a bit tricky, right? But, I mean, you do have a lot of good options here when it comes to Super Saiyans, right? So, first things first, you are, the only leader you could use here as free-to-play uh, you definitely have to bring in the LR Goku here. Now, this LR Goku, um, his easy A, first of all, I do have to be very specific here, um, is basically what's going to carry the team here because it's going to be super fast. Key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 90%. Um, again, he's not going to be doing a lot of damage, um, but he's only here for the leader skill. And you shouldn't take too much damage anyway because uh, Cooler only has damage reduction, right? Um, against these typings and against these type of characters as well, right? So once you do have here your Goku, uh, you obviously want to bring here this Trunks, this Future Trunks, because he's free to play. You also want to bring here the free to play Gohan, right here, because he's a support type unit. Uh, now I can take out the uh, the tech units here, just like that. All right, so there we go. And then uh, you have this free to play World Tournament, uh, Vegeta. You also have here the um, free to play Gohan as well. And then you also have here these guys are as well here. So this is probably going to be your best team build. And then of course you can add her go. What type of teams are you on right now? You're gonna be on. Let's see. Pure Saints, Goku's Family, Kamehameha, Final Trump Card, Turtle School. Okay, so you probably. Only two options you can rock here if you're gonna rock this type of team build. It's probably be this Goku right here, the AGL Goku, or it could be um, the STR Goku, right? If you wanna have that more stats of the 170, then it's probably gonna be your best team build as free to play. Um, let me just go back here to Super Saiyans. I just want to see what the SDR Goku provides. So he provides HP 130, attack and defense 170. Okay, that's pretty good. So you probably want to go with the Goku. If not, you can actually go with the um, AGL Goku, right? Because he's going to hit very, very hard. He's a very good nuker as well. So, I mean, the options are going to be very, very simple. This should be very, very easy. Also, again, very easy for Zenny, all right? So that's going to be a video, my boys. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button. Sub for more videos. Comment down below. Let me know your team builds, all right? And I want to say good luck on the run. It should be pretty easy. Free Dragon Stones, free Orbs. So definitely do the event, even though you don't have Cooler, all right? So without saying thank you for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace!